to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a sweat proof, uh, heat proof, humid proof, summer proof, whatever you want to call it, makeup tutorial. Um, I do live in Florida and the humid is crazy and a sweat proof makeup look is something you definitely need living somewhere where it's super super hot during the summer and then it just goes on forever because we never have winter or really fall but um yeah so if you want to see this makeup look then keep on watching to start your makeup to have a perfect heat proof sweat proof uh, application you want to start with a primer so the primer I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay optical illusion complexion primer this is just really gonna help fill in my pores once you have your primer on the next step is I'm going to add the Maybelline fit me shine free plus balance foundation stick I find that this works really good in like the problem areas where I sweat the most, so like in my T-zone basically. So here are my cheeks, my chin, and right here on my forehead, and I'll do a little down the nose. So that is all where I'm going to add that foundation, and then I'm just going to buff it in, and I'm going to spread it out across my face. Okay, once you have that foundation um, buffed into your skin and spread out, I am going to add the IT Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor Super Smart Skin Perfecting Beauty Fluid Plus SPF 50. So I am just going to shake this up and add it to my fingers and then just apply it all over my face. Okay, once you have that completely blended into your skin, you're going to take some loose powder. This is the Kat Von D one. And I'm going to take a beauty sponge and I'm going to just set my under eyes. I'm gonna bake my under eyes. And I'm gonna bake down here. so I can add my contour in the middle. Okay, for bronzing and just warming up the face, I'm going to be using my Be A Light Palette by Becca Cosmetics, and I'm actually going to mix the bronzer and the blush together, and just bronze up the cheeks. Okay, and to sharpen the contour a little bit more, I'm going to use my Smashbox little trio palette, and I'm going to take this one that I put pan on with a flat brush like this, take it on the edge, and then carve out those cheeks just a little bit more. And once you're done with that, I'm going to add blush. So this is the Tarte Blush in Party. And this is the Amazon Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. Now I really like this because it is 12 hours, so it's going to last a longer time. Especially being in the heat and sweating and stuff like that, it works really good. For a blush 
blush if you want you can definitely add a stick or a cream blush before you add your powder blush that will definitely make the blush color last a little bit longer I didn't do that today normally I do but because of the tart blush I find that I don't need to add any cream or stick blush and it just lasts just as long so there's a tip for that okay so now I'm going to go back into my Be Light palette and mix the blurring and the brightening powder together and then wipe away the baking that I have. I dusted some of that powder all over my face so it's perfectly set. Um, you can definitely add some more. I probably will add a little bit more before I spray my face before I am completely done. So now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. For eyebrows, I have been loving this Benefit Cosmetics product. So this is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So it looks just like this. So it has two brown shades in it, a lighter, a, I mean a darker and a lighter, and then it has two highlighting shades, and it's really good. I really like it because it definitely gives you two-tone brows, which is what I like to go for. So I can use a darker on the tail and a lighter in the front, and I love that. And this is a long-lasting eyebrow product. I believe it's like waterproof. Um, yeah, I think this works really good throughout the summer, especially the heat here in Florida, the humidity. It works so good. I really like it. It doesn't smudge and it doesn't budge. So I really enjoy this product. Okay, now that those are done, I'm going to set it with the Eyelore Brow control in shape gel but I'm not going to use the spoolie that it comes with I'm going to use the 24 hour brow setter by benefit spoolie because I just like that one so much more and there we have Okay, now I'm going to move on to mascara, and I'm just going to add the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara just to my top lashes. One of the last makeup steps is to add highlighter, so I'm going to be using my Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette. I think that's what this is, so it looks like this. It has two highlights, and I'm going to just mix them together. Mm. Apply. Okay, now to completely set your makeup for the day, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is definitely hands down my favorite makeup setting spray. My makeup won't budge, move nothing throughout the day, and I love it. Now, if I was actually going out for the day, I would definitely use way more than that, but I'm not going to. And then if I am going out into the sun or going to be outside a lot throughout the day, I will add the Sugar Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist. This has a broad spectrum of SPF. And here is the finished look of a heat proof sweat proof makeup look so i had just recently went to atlanta and nashville and in atlanta we went to a wedding and the reception was outdoors and it was really really hot and this is the makeup look i did granted i maybe have added a little bit more more of the maybelline fit me uh foundation stick because it is a completely matte foundation, so I didn't want any oil seeping through or anything like that, I definitely added a lot of powder and a lot and lot of setting spray so my makeup didn't go anywhere. And to be honest, I don't really think it did. I didn't really look at it when I got home. When I got home, we were really tired. We were exhausted. We had a lot of fun. So I had just washed my makeup off because I just hate having makeup on. So I was so anxious to wipe it off. But from the pictures and from what I saw when I went to the bathroom a few times, my makeup looked really good and I was really happy about it. And then all throughout Nashville, this is the exact look I did. I didn't add a ton of makeup just because I knew we were going to be out all day. And again, my makeup really didn't budge. It looked really good and I was really, really happy with it. And I'm really glad that I found this and that I figured that this would work for me throughout the summer and 
the summer heat and it definitely did so give this a try again this is the maybelline fit me shine free plus balance uh foundation stick and this is in the color um ivory 115 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below and i'll see you next time in my next video bye guys